Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Luxury Style Channel, where valuable information and classy experiences of the super rich are shared, thereby contributing to strongly inspiring you to have the motivation to strive for a better life. In today's video, Luxury Style invites you to learn about the Korean super rich and the commonalities and how they spend money. The super rich are always known to be aggressive spenders and not afraid to splash money. The Korean super rich also have their own unique characteristics in the way they spend their money, from in how they work with the bank and where they live to how they invest in their children, all which are very lavish. Now we are going to see how classy they spend their money. Korea super rich use their own high-end bank branches. In Korea, there will be high-end commercial bank branches exclusively for the super rich. Not only are there top financial experts, but the services and the interior of the buildings also include luxury. It is known that many family-owned businesses are in the stage of transferring power to the next generation, requiring super rich families to think about comprehensive asset deals. In the Apu Gong area, Gangnam District, where many wealthy Korean families live, there is an elegant seven-floor building that attracts the attention of any passerby. This is the building of KB Financial Group, which provides hyper-personalized financial services to the wealthiest people in the country. This place is considered to be able to meet all requirements from the most demanding customers whom not all banks in Korea can serve. Instead of having to get a queue ticket, customers will be served a hot cup of fresh coffee by a barista and enjoy works of art worth billions of one displayed around. In addition, if they have to wait, they can also read valuable books that normal bookstores can hardly collect under the splendid chandeliers in the building. That's only possible at high-end branches like KB. When customers don't have to wait in line, VIP customers often have experiences similar to visiting a gallery or a private library. In addition to rare books and unique works of art, the space here is also filled with green plants and customized perfume scents from elegantly displayed air diffusers. A special feature in the building is the office lock from the third floor to the seventh floor with 15 consultation rooms set up for customers in which discussions can be held discreetly. The two consultation rooms on the seventh floor resemble high-end hotel suites with makeup rooms, balconies, and chandeliers. A painting worth $3 billion, equivalent to $2.3 million U.S. dollars by an abstract artist, Kim Wan Ki, is hung in the room. The highlight of KB service is the customers who are CEOs of famous companies in the country of ginseng and their family members. Many family-owned businesses are in the midst of transferring power to the next generation, requiring super-rich families to seek for comprehensive wealth management, consulting supports. Premium clients who enjoy ultra-personal services will have an escrow specialist, tax accountant, and attorney, real estate professional, and personal banker working as a team to serve them. Mr. Wang Suha, the head of the high-end bank branch at Suha, said, we have about 40 top experts here. The super rich parents who have problems in their businesses and dividing their assets among their children and grandchildren often come to the center. Our main customers are top executives of large companies and their family members. In addition, Wang also said that newly established young entrepreneurs were also another group of KB's customers. In Korea, online banks are becoming increasingly popular to reduce their service scale and close many branches. However, by the end of 2022, the number of people classified as wealthy in Korea was about 424,000, an increase of 19.7% compared to the previous two years. According to the report on wealth in Korea, published by the KB, survey subjects said the minimum principal amount to accumulate assets was an average 820 million won, equivalent to more than 611,000 U.S. dollars. They saved at the average age of 42 through real estate investments, stocks, and savings. This group of customers has become a delicious piece of cake. For banks to launch their super-rich personal services, to manage the assets of the super-rich, Wang said, promoting the wealth management businesses for ultra-high net worth individuals and the development of digital platforms are becoming two key pillars of the local bank. KB defines wealthy people as those with financial assets of more than 1 billion won. This group has total financial assets of 2,883 trillion won, accounting for 58.5% of the total financial assets of Korean households. To provide comprehensive wealth management services to customers, we have focused all our capabilities at the group level to open this center, said Yung Jong Ki, chairman of KB Financial Group. 
when the lenders launched the center in September. Korea's super-rich often live in extremely expensive areas. According to Forbes, Seoul ranks 10th among the top cities with the most billionaires. More specifically, most of Yongsang District, the center of Seoul, is the place where the majority of super-rich people in Korea live. In mid-2021, in order to pay the inheritance tax of more than 12 trillion won of the late Samsung Group chairman, Lee Kang-hee, the mansion in Itawan area, Yongsang District, Suao, for 21 billion won was put up for sale. Besides, the Samsung family is mostly located around Itawan and Hanamadong areas. In addition, we can mention a number of other prominent names who have lived and are living around this area, such as CEO Amori Pacific, chairman of Hyundai Motor, chairman of SK Group, and chairman of LG, and so on. In addition, according to Donga.com, in mid-December 2022, President Shinsuke Lee Young hee house in Hanamadong was worth 28 billion won, about more than 20 million U.S. dollars, currently among the most expensive in Korea. With a prime location, convenient transportation, and beautiful views, apartments along the Han River are expensive and are the dream of many Korean people. It is not an exaggeration to say that the houses located on the Han River are some of the most expensive real estate in Suha. The apartment will have a convenient location in terms of traffic, infrastructure, beautiful and relaxing view overlooking the river, a luxury for many urban residential areas like Suwal. In September, a 264-square-meter penthouse in the Acro Suwal Forest Complex, Sung Shu Dong was sold for 13 billion won, compared to the figure of 6.5 billion won in 2017. This price doubled. Many famous people such as actors Lee Jong-hoon, Jong Sang-wook, and Cha Yi run also own apartments in this area. Another famous apartment building with expensive prices, located next to the Han River, is Bampo Jugang Danjai. According to data from the Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and Transport, a 140-square-meter apartment here costs 7.3 billion won, equivalent to more than 5 million U.S. dollars. Spend a lot of money on the children's study abroad. Most of Korea's super-rich send their children abroad. Most of Korea's super-rich send their children abroad to get a better education environment. For example, Lee Won Ju, the granddaughter of the late chairman of Samsung Group, Lee Kun Hee, studied at Chowati Rosemary Hall, boarding school in the U.S. It is known that tuition here is quite expensive, at about $66,000 per year. There are reports that Lee Won Ju attended college at Colorado College with a tuition fee of $62,000 per year. Besides, Moon Sang Yoon, granddaughter of the chairman of Shinskagi Group, Lee Young Hee, who is rumored to be dating G Dragon, is currently studying at Columbia University, one of the world's leading universities. The annual tuition at this school is about $64,000. Korea super rich gradually give up real estate to hold cash. A report by HANA Financial Management Research Institute of HANA Bank said that by the end of 2022, the average assets, including finance, real estate, and other type of assets of the super-rich in Korea is 32.3 billion won, about 24.5 million U.S. dollars per one person, is about 1.2 billion won, equivalent to nearly 900,000 U.S. dollars, of which income from real estate accounts for 39%, about 600 million won of the total. Looking at the change in asset composition of Korea's super-rich over the past year, financial assets have increased from an average of 15 billion won in 2021 to 16.1 billion won in 2022, equivalent to more than 250 billion VND. On the other hand, real estate assets, which ranked first in total assets, with an average of 20.6 billion won in 2021, fell to 15.6 billion won last year while the proportion of real estate also fell behind financial assets. Financial, 50%, and real estate, 48%. Other assets, including membership in fields, valuable items, and works of art, also dropped sharply from 1.7 billion won in 2021 to 600 million won in 2022. The most notable point in the 2022 assets held by Korea's super-rich was that the proportion of cash and deposits in financial assets more than doubled to 58% from 25% of a year earlier. Meanwhile, the proportion of stocks decreased sharply from 45% to 16%. The report analyzed that preference for deposits has increased due to the impact of rising interest rates. But there is also an aspect of increasing cash holdings to cope with the instability of global situation. Analysis show that the super-rich often actively invest in foreign currency assets and works of art 
In fact, in 2022, two-thirds of the super-rich, 73%, hoarded foreign currency assets. Looking at foreign currency assets by type, the super-rich expanded their foreign currency investments in cash, 63% to 73%. Overseas stocks, 30% to 43%. In bonds, 10% to 17%. Compared to 2021, another notable thing is that the super-rich own very little or no virtual assets. 9 out of 10 respondents said they had no intention of investing in NFT digital assets, rarely used items or music in the future, showing a negative view of the future of the investment in virtual assets and blockchain. Over the past year, 70% of the super-rich have profited from interest and investments in different types of assets. Among them, 15% of the super-rich achieved high profits of 10% or more. Up to 60% of super-rich people polled said they had investment plans with an expected return rate of 5-10% to this year. Regarding the economic situation this year, 80-90% of Korean super-rich predicted that the market in general and real estate in particular would worsen this year. The proportion of people predicting the market and real estate would deteriorate also increased significantly compared to the previous year to more than 20%. In that situation, stocks 29% top the list of assets that the super rich are willing to invest in the future, followed by real estate 27% and deposits 15%. The 100 richest people in Korea own nearly 21,000 houses. Statistics Korea said the 100 richest people in the country own nearly 21,000 houses with a total value of more than 2,500 billion won, 1.74 billion US dollars. People who own a lot of real estate in Korea will benefit from the Yoon Sak Hee administration tax revision plan in the near future. According to data from Korean statistics, as of 2020, the 100 richest people in the country own 20,689 houses with a total value of 2,520 billion won. Thus, on average, each big guy in this group owned an average of 207 apartments worth 25.2 billion won. In 2016, the number of houses owned by the 100 richest people in Korea was only 17,244, with a total estimated value of 1,500 billion won, equivalent to more than 1.1 billion U.S. dollars, from increasing the number and value of residential assets. Lawmakers pointed out that people who own a lot of real estate in Korea would benefit from the Yoon sak Yi administration tax revision plan. Accordingly, Mr. Yoon is planning to abolish heavier tax rates for owners of much residential real estate and raise the ceiling on basic tax deductions on house prices. If this amendment law is applied, the above real estate tycoons are estimated to receive an average tax reduction of about 1 billion won each person. Specifically, previously, each person would be subject to a comprehensive real estate tax of 1.48 billion won, but they will soon be taxed only 394.2 million won after the law is amended. The Yoon administration has comprehensively revised real estate taxes, thereby cutting taxes for the super-rich, benefiting those who own hundreds of houses, said Representative Kim Hoing Jae. We will stop tax cuts for the super-rich and instead create a budget that supports the working and middle class. Luxury Style has just shared with you the common points about the Korean super-rich. How do you feel about them after watching the video? To watch more interesting videos from Luxury Style, please leave your opinion in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos from Luxury Style. Now, goodbye and see you again in the next video.